Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and welcome to another episode of Finally, my series about uh, white straight male characters turned from their disgusting <laughs> caterpillar form into their beautiful, diverse butterfly form. Uh, but before we start, four ninety nine graphic novel, rock and roll ninja graphic novel, Spendables graphic novel campaign is closed, although you can get it as part of a bundle on Rock and Roll Ninja. But uh, I just announced to people. Some people were saying, they're like, hey, you know, we uh, didn't quite get to the $300,000 stretch goal for the dog tags, but considering that you are pretty darn late, how about how about we get them? And you're going to get them. So uh, this is what it looks like. I'm very, very excited about this. <laughs> so this is going to become a thing, as they say, where each subsequent campaign will have uh, dog tags in, their, in, in the mix, either as a stretch goal or as an add-on. I'm thinking probably... No, I think it'll usually be as a uh, stretch goal. Although you might be able to buy extras from past campaigns. Uh, so that'll be fun. So, um, good news. <laughs> Marvel finally has a gay Captain America. And how gay, you might ask? Well, well, this gay. He's dancing. He's, oh boy, yeah. So uh, Marvel Comics introduces a gay Captain America for June 2021. So part of my joke in calling this finally is whenever something like this happens, Inevitably, people use the word finally. They go, finally, we have, you know, a gay, black, uh, I've got to say, it's got to be so boring to be a comic book editor these days. Now, it's never been lucrative, uh, but it was at least interesting. You could, you know, uh, be a steward for a, a character. You could guide a certain era for, you know, a group of characters. Uh, and now I just... <laughs> I just imagine it's just miserable, just miserable, like all day long, every day is them getting on Zoom calls with someone that their assistant, it's like, just go on Twitter and cross-reference anyone who's ever expressed interest in comics, and then they also support Antifa, and maybe they have ACAB in their, you know, title, All Cops Are Bastards, so, so all day long is just them getting these people who have little to no experience and they're like, okay, so I've got a pretty crazy idea. And I'm going to need you to listen all the way to the end. Because if you do, you just might learn something. Okay, fine. I heard you have some ideas for the Punisher. And they're like, yeah. So my idea is to make the Punisher gay, black, and female. Yeah. And so the storyline is going to be about murderous uh, cops. Yeah, so it all starts where there's a gay black trans kid walking down the street with a book that says how to achieve world peace and then the blonde police officer shoots him a million times. I, I wrote, did I accidentally send you my draft? Did I accidentally hit send on there? No, it's just all day long, every day. This is literally, I get the same pitch all day long from everyone. So the problem is, that these are virtue signals, that they're not actual creative ventures, um, that this character, we all know what's going to happen with this character. He's going to be effectively an angel. If Even if he's a little rough around the edges, he will be probably included as a backup. Um, and then uh, the uh, use of this character will be spotty at best. And here's where it's the worst. When this character is used, very occasionally over the ensuing years. The character will have a completely different personality in every... This is one of the ways you can tell that a character is an SJW character. Uh, you look at someone like uh, Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan is written completely differently in every single iteration. And I'm talking about... I'm not talking about in video games and comics and, and cartoons. I'm talking about in four different Marvel comics that come out during the same month, Kamala Khan will be written with four distinctly different personalities because all that matters is she be visibly diverse. That's why they give her that purple gray skin. That's why the gay Captain America has to be dancing with like this expression on his face. This is not, I'm going into battle. I'm surprised it's not a G on his forehead. Announced last week, Marvel Comics will celebrate the 80th anniversary of Captain America. 
America with a brand new limited series this June titled The United States of Captain America, written by Christopher Cantwell with art by Dale Eaglesham. This series will see Steve Rogers, ah, uh, gross, teamed up with Captain Americas of the past, Bucky Barnes, Sam Wilson, and John Walker, ugh. on a road trip across America to find his stolen shield. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> We would like to uh, celebrate 80 years of Captain America by showing him being completely incompetent. I mean, a freaking E2 in the infantry knows not to lose their serialized gear. And second of all, when you do lose it, you don't tell anyone. You, 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 you go find it. Ask anyone who is in the, the military, specifically the infantry, for years afterwards, you will have nightmares that you misplaced your uh, rifle specifically. Sometimes, you know, your, your nods, any kind of serialized gear. Um, throughout the group's journey... They'll discover everyday people from all walks of life who have taken up the mantle of Captain America to defend their communities. <sighs> There's a lot of buzzwords here. <laughs> so we know everyday people is going to be like uh, the, the, the smallest groups in the country of a third of a billion. And communities will always be downtrodden poor people. There's never going to be like this upper middle class, you know, uh, neighborhood that's been having a lot of break-ins. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so uh, beginning with Marvel's newest hero, Aaron Fisher. And here's Aaron Fisher, dance flying uh, by the power of diversity. Aaron Fisher is described as the Captain America of the railways, a fearless teen who stepped up to protect fellow runaways and the unhoused. Oh, Jesus. Just say homeless. Homeless. It, they're homeless. What is this unhoused? And that, quote, Marvel Comics is proud to honor Pride Month with the rise of this new LGBTQ plus hero that we will effectively forget about one second after we print this worthless story. <laughs> so like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look into the future. Uh, he's going to be on a, a, on a team book. Uh, he's uh, going to be... Uh, he'll be like super aggressive in one take. He'll be like super femi in another take. And I'm talking about two stories and two books during the same month. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Um, as in each issue, Cantwell and Eaglesham will be joined by a diverse lineup of all-star talent to introduce these new shield bearers and expand on... Wait, are we supposed to believe like they got a report that wherever he is, you know, Oklahoma, they're like, well, there's a, there's a report of a, a guy... Wearing your uniform or something like it, Cap. And he's got a shield. Like, anyone's supposed to believe this bashed in trash can lid of a shield was like the real shield? He can just like ask him, So, what does a shield look like? Uh, like a bashed in trash can type of situation. Okay, so that's definitely not my shield. So, we don't need to go there. Um, uh, so, when they say uh, all star diverse lineup, we know what that means. It means, hey, this is the gay. So to write him, you gotta get the gay. Uh, this guy's, yeah, I can tell he's the gay because this, this, th that means the gay, right? Th this thing right here, it means the gay. So this is the rules. I don't make them up. I just follow them out of fear. If the character is the gay, you gotta get the gay to write him, or you go to jail. I, that's what I heard. Uh, so uh, we get. Josh Trujillo saying, uh, Aaron is inspired by heroes of the queer community, activists, leaders, and everyday folks pushing for a better life. He stands for the oppressed and the forgotten. I hope his debut story resonates with readers and helps inspire the next generation of heroes. I mean, it's got to be so tough to write a story like this because you've got to sit there and think all day, do I make the lead bully blonde or a ginger? I want to thank editor Alana Smith, uh, so this is the artist, and Joshua Trujillo very much for asking me to create Aaron. I really enjoyed designing him, and as a transgender person, I am happy to be able to present an openly gay person who admires Captain America and fights against evil to help those who are almost invisible to society. So one thing I want to uh, just note, which is impressive, is uh, the incredible coincidence that's happening right here. So um, they have a, a, a gay character and um, picking artists completely on merit 
uh, they ended up uh, picking a, a transgender person. That's that's incredible. I mean, what are the odds? Marvel practices segregation. SJWs have brought back segregation. We were done with that shit. Like, almost 100 years ago. We were done. Nobody missed it. Nobody. Except for SJWs. <laughs> so here they come with trash can Captain America. And uh, let's uh, learn more about him. While I was drawing him, I thought, well, Cap fights against super powerful beings and saves the world almost always. But Aaron helps those who walk alone in the street with problems that they face every day. I hope people like the end result. Uh, nobody cares. Um, the people who are yes queening about this on uh, Twitter right now, they will completely forget this exists until it comes out. And then they might uh, uh, screenshot um, a page from a pirated version, but usually they even forget that part. I mean, the actual book coming out is beyond boring to them. Uh, unless they are reminded of it, uh, they won't buy it. That's why Vita Ayala was very angrily but vaguely tweeting that, you know, you know, support things while you have a chance instead of mourning them. We saw this with Iceman. We're going to see this. Well, since this isn't a main character, it's just a backup story. Like I said, this is the trajectory of a character like this. This uh, character will pop up a couple times a year, very, very randomly, usually in crowd shots when there's, you know, a giant superhero event. Um, and uh, there will be no consistency to the character. Uh, but the rule will be you have to hire uh, gay people to write and uh, draw this character. Even though technically it's looking like it was probably created by uh, the unfortunately straight Christopher Cantwell. So um, this is it. Here's your representation, gays. So, like, pandering and condescending to everyone, to every, every, literally everyone that's a human is condescended to by this character. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. 499 graphic novel, rock and roll ninja graphic novel. And if you missed out on Expendables, you can uh, order the book. Uh, the uh, dog tag is exclusive to the backers of the campaign. Because uh, they, they need something extra because they've waited longer than everyone else. So they're going to get something extra. And I will have uh, the Joker, number one, review next. Thanks. Bye.